Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to We Love Metal. We are on the line with Max from one of my new favorite bands after I saw them last Saturday night, Dance Lori Dance. How you doing, Max? I'm doing great and you, man. Good, man. Thanks. It was a pleasure meeting you the other night. Yeah. The East Coast Ice Rage Tour. How was the experience for you? That was awesome, man. That was um, amazing. It was great, man. Uh, night after night, we just had great shows. I wish this over was forever, you know? It was great fun, great times. What uh, What were your thoughts on working with the Cancer Bats? Oh, they're great dudes, man. We had, like, I think we got along pretty well. It was fun, man. We just, like, night after night, it was just, a, like, a good party and a good good, good gigs, good crowds. Like, the crowd were amazing. Like, almost sold out everywhere. It was fun, man. Great times. Good. You guys, uh, you had the opportunity to work with some uh, local bands in the towns you were in, too. Did you see any uh, up-and-comers make you happy that Canada Metal's doing so well? Oh, wow, man. I'm I'm shitty with names, but, uh, <laughs> wow. Let me think about it, man. That's a hard question for me. Because I'm, I'm, so, I'm so poor with names. Uh, we don't worry about names, but there's there's lots of talent coming up, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, man. That was... I remember those bands in Moncton and like Halifax boat shows, man. I don't remember the names though, but I remember in Moncton and Halifax, great bands opening for like uh, the tour, and then yeah, in Montreal too, and Quebec was great too. I don't just, I just don't recall the name, man. <laughs> but, no. Yeah. no issue, metals in good hands. That's all we need, really need to know, Max. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Now, uh, you guys, I mean, you're new to me, but you've been around for a while. Um, You've done a lot of major shows, thousands of people. How does that differ from this tour where, you know, it was smaller crowds? Is the energy different? Uh, absolutely not, man. I mean, we dance every dance. I mean, like, um, we always, like, um, try to do the, the same show, whether it's, like, let's say 20 people. Tell them, you know, because they deserve the same show because they, they paid to get in the place and to see a good rock and roll show. So I think everybody deserves a good show. So we, we just thing, you know. Definitely. Now, what uh, on this tour? What what was so different for me is, Cancer Bats are pretty much they're a hardcore punk band, really. Yeah, yeah. And you guys, I mean, you're just a, a dirty rock and roll band, and I mean that with all due respect. Uh, did you find it hard to draw to their fans, or did everybody just seem into it? I don't know. We just go out there and do our things, and if you people like us, well, cool, man. And if they don't, well, I don't know. It's just. We just enjoy playing the music, and then uh, I think we have we we sold some merch, so I think that's a good like um, indicator of how it goes. And uh, you know, I don't know. I think too people put too much into that genre stuff. I think metal fans are metal fans, music fans are music fans. So I think so. Yeah, uh, your album, the, the newest one, "Living for a Role," or "Living for the Role," excuse me. Yeah. How would you describe that to people who haven't heard it? I'll describe it, man. Dance where we dance. It's just uh, the the music that we love to play. Like a, like you said, it's like a it's a mix of like I don't know garage punk and I guess '80s rock and roll with, or Quebecois touch, you know, through it. So I don't know. It just sounds like dance where we dance, I guess. And uh, where can people buy it or download it or whatever? Just go and listen to it. It's on YouTube. Excellent. People can pick that up pretty much anywhere, can they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Now, uh, for, for me personally, the first time I've seen you guys, I yeah. I felt there was a lot of Motorhead in there. That's what I got from it. Do, do those yeah, compar- Motorhead actually? Too. Do those comparisons bother you, or you know? Oh, uh, not at all. This is no. I mean, it always happens. We play rock and roll. These rock and roll like exists since what, like 1960 or more than that. So. It's normal to have like conversions at some point, but we don't really mind, you know. I think you guys definitely have your own sound, but is there anybody you draw influence from when you're writing? Oh yeah, lots of Motorhead, Guns N' Roses, I mean, Cancer Bats, I don't know, it's Metallica, so many. Iron Maiden, I don't know, it's just we Rage Against the Machine, I don't know, it's the Rancid, lots of them, lots what, of them. What do you guys listen to in the van when you're traveling? All those bands I just named, <laughs> and Motorhead and Rancid and all these bands like Raging of the Machine and name it, man. There's so many good bands out there. Cancer Bats, we, we usually listen to them all the time in the van since their first album. We always liked the sound, so it was, we were just so stoked to, to play with them on this tour, and it, uh, it was fun that 
we got along so well. It was a fun party every night, you know. Excellent. With the with all the exposure you guys have gotten in the last couple of years, I'm kind of curious. Where do you go from here? How do you how do you move forward now that you know your name's getting out there across the nation? Yeah, we just think that we have to keep on working. You know, we're going in the studio in a few months, in like um, let's say June, to uh, record the new the new album. You know, so we just have to keep on working and just keep on doing it and releasing new songs and new albums and going out there and doing bigger tours and bigger festivals. You know, just do on shit. You know, is it, is it difficult to find time to write, Max, when you're on the road that much? Sorry, what was it? Is it difficult to find time to write new music when you're on the road so much? Oh, it is, yeah. On the road, it is. Yeah, because you, you're just not focused on writing, you know? You're focused on the tour and the show, and, you know, writing is a different stuff. <laughs> to, to write song, and you need, like, some, a, a cool place to do it. I don't know. It's kind of hard on the road for us, because we, we write songs. <laughs> we jam the songs, so that's different. So it's a, it's a collaboration amongst all the members then to, to get the music out there. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Um, I, I'm going to ask you this, and I in no way mean to offend you, but your stage performance yourself, very erratic, very different than, than a lot of things I've seen. Is that the music just, you know, overtaking you? Because when I talk to you now or in person, I mean, you're a very laid back guy, but on stage you're exact opposite. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's when I get out there, it's just the way I feel, so I just do it this way, but in real life, if I always like that, I'd be just so fucking annoying. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a pretty laid back guy, I just, I just like, I was actually smoking a bong right when I answered it, and I actually forgot the, uh, the interview, so I was quite surprised. <laughs> I was in my bedroom smoking a bong right now waiting for the party to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Are uh, you guys on tour I mean, again soon? Yeah it's, yeah, it's different, but, you know, it's, that's the way it should be. I mean, if I'd be the same guy out out there in, in real life, that'd be just, I don't know, annoying for a lot of people, I guess. Uh, do you, I feel good on stage doing this. Maybe it's annoying for people, but I don't think so. It's just, it's just different. Are uh, you guys going out on the road again here soon? No, actually, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we just going in the studio, so next month, and we'll just be, like, um, raising some money to record a new album and just make it happen, you know? We're going to, uh, you know, Indiegogo, we're just going to try, like, um, to raise money by ourselves and do it, like, really DIY kind of way, we'll leave it on the internet with some uh, good clips and shit, you know? Excellent, count us in. Yeah, man. Well, before we sign off, Max, I just, I'd like... Because you guys have been around for a bit, but I mean not that long, is there any advice you can give to these younger bands that, that don't know where to turn, where to go to next? Just to keep on working and keep on, you know, I think that the main, the main focus that you need to have is to keep on working and make it like one step, like, you know, step by step, like let's say the, the Backstreet Boys, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just keep on working. Is there, do they have to be prepared to sacrifice a lot? Oh, yeah, obviously. But, I mean, it's not a sacrifice. I mean, just, yeah, you sacrifice some things, but to get some other great things, you know? It's like, I don't know, there's no, like, uh, there's no sacrifice out there. It's just something that you want to do, and if you wanna, really want to do it, just keep on working and keep on working on it. It will work out sometime. Do, uh, do you know if we're going to see you at uh, Heavy MTL this year? I don't know. We played last year, so I guess they don't, they're, they're not booking the same bands year after year, and I understand that and I respect that so I don't I don't think so honestly but we'll see excellent well I think all of us will be there just before we go where can people find out more about Dance Lori Dance and uh, and how to pick up that album oh well you can like order the album through iTunes and uh, in any h and and you can order it on uh, Amazon I guess and then uh, DanceLoryDance.com or on Facebook but uh, yeah for the album iTunes or download it from YouTube or anywhere you know internet these days excellent well I want to thank you Max for doing this and I encourage well, everyone for calling, man. It was awesome. I encourage everyone to strongly check out Dance Lawyer Dance because uh, these guys are the future Canadian metal I don't doubt that for a second so thanks a lot man no thanks dude